My name is Rosemary Snell. I'm a second year creative industry student at Ryerson University and I founded Revive Toronto. I do a lot of work with social media management and content creation. So with the people that I work with, one thing that I really push for them is to is to be themselves. And as much as a, a token statement as that is, and as much as that can kind of hit the ground and fall flat with some people, I think it really it really says a lot to small scale creators and entrepreneurs. Marketing to me means using the the community that you're that you're operating in to to share the work that you're doing, whether it's professional work or creative work or a mix of both. Um, it's online, it's interpersonal, it is representing yourself and what you stand for in your community. Toronto, we started it in 2016 when I had dropped out of school. I was a uh, politics and international relations, uh, I guess, major at the University of Bristol in the UK. Uh, and it and this sounds so strange, but I a part of me just felt like it was missing because I was lacking that creative side of my life that I had had um, since I was since I was born, I guess. Um, so when I came back to Toronto and I had some months off before I was potentially starting school again, I kicked up this project called Revive Toronto um, to because it was a great opportunity to really get this this whole thing started. We, as a, we're an online publication, we also do multimedia projects and events, and we strive to really support the, the small-scale creative and entrepreneurial community uh, by setting up these events and featuring them on, in our online publication. Uh, we work to absorb a lot of the risk that these creators have by, um, to make a living. Because it's kind of, it's, if you're a creator um, or a new entrepreneur in Toronto or anywhere, you, you really face a lot of personal loss and we really want to absorb that um, by connecting people, by hosting events and absorbing the, the, like, the space rental fees or whatever it might be, um, exposing people and connecting people. That's really our goal on all levels. I find, well, especially with social media, it can feel like a really isolating community. As, as much as it is connected, it can feel really, um, you can feel really distant from the creative world or whatever corner of, a creative corner of Toronto that you might be a part of. Um, so for me, it was, it was adding that extra link. So whether, whether you're too scared to reach out or collaborate with somebody who has X number of followers or they do a lot of work because that's how you hear about them um, through we really work to, to kind of bridge that gap, um, to have a setting where, where people who want to support the Toronto community don't just have to hear about these, these creators, entrepreneurs, by how famous they are on, on social media. In some ways, we if you if you read Narcity or Blog2Yo, those kind of top 10 lists of creators um, or artists or restaurants or places to go, we try to be the step before that. So the people who don't have that coverage yet, um, which is really powerful and really cool and it's been such a great experience so far. It's interesting because I work so much um, with social media, uh, but I, I would probably say what works best is word of mouth. It's having that face that you can assign to, to a project or an event or whatever it might be. Like you can invite as many people as you want online to a Facebook event, or you can share a link as many times as you want. But really what gets people coming out is that sort of emotional touch that's really, that can, that can be really miscommunicated in moments over social media or in a post. So whatever angle you're trying to get at, it's, it's uh, rather than saying like, come to this really cool event I've been working on, you turn to someone and go, hey, like this is the project I've been working on, or like there's this really awesome person that I want you to meet, you should come out and check it out. And they end up coming, they meet other people that are there as well. Um, and it's, I guess word of mouth is the best way to do it so far.